It's a tiny gamer, and welcome to day 12. No, it's 12 of Vlogmas. I almost said 11. <sighs> nope, not 11. Anyways, I... <clears throat> Today wasn't as bad as it has been, thankfully. But st I'm still in recovery mode from Saturday and Sunday. So Monday last night just compiled onto it. So it's, it's, mm, yeah. It's like when you get injured and then you re-injure it, not as badly, but it's still going to be feeling rougher than before because you're still recovering. Something like that. But pushing on. I'm pushing on. I, I know my movements are more jerky right now. That's why I'm in recovery mode. <clears throat> And the weather is currently 40 degrees. Even though I have my heater on, it's still... Oof. Yeah. Also, I know I need to get a haircut. I know it. I know it's... It's getting to the point where I just want to cut it or shave it off or something. Uh, and also, there's been a couple things that I have forgotten to talk about that I'm remembering now after having some rest but let's do the advent calendar first so we're on day 12 which is uh, I just saw it oh it's okay I don't like when it's that far down. There's a sticker that says Ghost Facers. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> So, first, what I want to talk about is, um, remember when I read, uh, where's the messages? I keep everything up here right now. I think it's this one. Yes, okay. So during the Castiel's Angel Food Cake, it was um, the third uh, directions where it says place the egg whites, salt, cream of tartare, and almond and vanilla ash extracts in the bowl of the mixer. Beat on medium with a balloon attachment until soft peaks form. And gradually add the remaining cup of sugar while the mixer is running. A full spoonful at a time until glossy white peaks have formed. About five minutes. So, remember I'm like, I don't know what this balloon attachment is. <clears throat> well, I looked it up. So, it's a balloon whisk. This attachment is a balloon-shaped hook that consisted of wire hooks. I'm getting the hiccups. Mainly used to blend and incorporate air during the mixing process for smooth and fluffy results. So that's what it is. And the other thing that I want to show and talk about is something that I mentioned in one of my at, at least in one of my streams 
And that is, I now own compression gloves. So, and I've worn these at work, and they work really well. So I got these, they're extra small, and you just put them on like this. One of my coworkers said they look very stylish on me. But here's the other one. And they fit me pretty well for having small childlike hands. Uh, like I said, these are extra small. So this is what the glove looks like up close. You can see like little like stitchings and stuff in the glove. And then this one as well. <clears throat> I got the fingerless ones because um, of my sensory issues, I need to be able to touch stuff. And I can't have my fingertips covered. Plus, <clears throat> since I'm dealing with money services, I like to be able to use my fingertips to help separate money, count money, make sure that everything is precise. And I'm not accidentally having bills stick together when I'm handing them to customers or customers are giving them to me. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, these weren't too, too bad. I think they're about $12, something like that. And they help so much. It's, I have mostly full range. Sometimes it's hard when they put stuff like in the palm of my hand to actually grip it properly as opposed to here. So this is my grip. And then <clears throat> to take it off. a bit of a hassle. I'll take it off. And I have more grip without it. So, <clears throat> so it's a little harder because there's right here is what kind of prevents it. <clears throat> now I've worn these to work already. And I really like using it. The only problem is um, <clears throat> part of my job is I need to have my hand scanned into the machine so it knows it's me and knows the proper credentials I have as a um, in order to do certain tasks at the end of the night. So my problem is it, show you. It's a, it's a palm scanner. So it scans my hand and it scans right here. It scans all this area right here. And then my fingertips have to rest on like a certain area. So with the glove, it kind of impairs this area right here. So I wear my gloves until I go to lunch, if I need to. And then after lunch, unfortunately, I'm forced to have to not use them because it's a hassle pulling them on and off. And because I'm in and out of that room having my hand scanned, like... How many times? Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. At least five times a night. Sometimes more if I'm helping to drop drawers. Um, basically, it's take the cash register drawer and then put it back into the machine <clears throat> for the night. So it gets to be a hassle, so I just take these off. Um, uh, 
Afterlunch. Oh my goodness. After lunch is when I take them off and then um, I have to deal with not having them for a couple hours, but it's, it's fine. I deal, I cope. I'm just glad I have these now for when I do need them. Or even like when I'm out here, you know, gaming and I can wear them. I mean, despite the fact that I don't have complete motion, they're still very comfortable. And the other problem is they, it's, it's compression, so they're pressing on my hands. And sometimes for long periods of time, they do leave like little marks or, but they, they go away, you know? <clears throat> it's like when you're wearing tight jeans and you take them off and you see the lines from where you were sitting or you were standing a particular way and the um, material pressed into your skin. That's basically these, but they're to help me with pain and um, give my hands a little extra support for when I need them. They're, these are basically like compression socks, except I don't get blood clots in my hands. Oh, terrifying. Um, but you, I hope y'all are getting the general idea of, you know, what these are. These are like, <clears throat> it, so one of the things I noticed before is that my hands would ache and putting pressure like this, rubbing them or just putting, you know, gripping them a bit, it helped. And wow, that voice, <clears throat> it helped. And there were times I would wear my fingerless gloves, but then my hands would get way too hot, but at least it was something that was helping. So finally I was able to have a little spare money set aside for my compression gloves. I'm glad I was able to get those. But yeah, those were the two things that I wanted to share that I kept forgetting, forgetting until it was like too late to film. But now we finally know what a balloon whisk is or a balloon for baking. And uh, I got another helper for my paint. So this, honestly, is uh, an aid for disability. Slowly but surely, they're coming out with more and more stuff that helps us that are disabled, and I'm grateful for it. These may not seem like much to one person, but these have been so helpful in the small time that I've worn them to me. It's been very helpful to me. And I'm grateful that someone came up with this idea. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. So that's gonna be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy. Now, ooh, please stay safe, stay happy. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.